Hi, this is uh, Contravex bi-weekly meeting. This is the America and Europe version. Um, welcome, as always, this meeting, as all of Kubernetes meetings for the CNCF and Kubernetes Code of Conduct, which boils down to be kind and excellent to each other. Um, we This is the week after KubeCon, so we may not have a lot to discuss or a lot of people on the call, which is okay. I hope people are rejuvenating uh, if, they, if they need to. Um, but yeah, we can we can get started going one by one down the line. Uh, I think Sylvester needs to drop soon, so maybe we can start off with mentoring, um, yeah. or anything else you want to talk about as well, and then we can we can see what what what's left. Yeah, mentoring, I don't really have an update on. I kind of started trying to recruit other people to kind of help mm -hmm. with it, and I put I know I've made some changes to the the website which um, it was still being reviewed and to the documentation, but then I got really busy and I've stepped away from it for a bit, but now I'm trying to get back into it. So no really update other than trying to get back up to speed with it again, um, you know, and, and get back into the flow of things again. Unfortunately, yeah, that, that's, that's where things stand. That, that's great. I mean, um, I think, I think it's, it's progress either way, right? but I think that's pretty good. Um, okay, so I know Chris is typing in a bunch of things under comms. No, I'm just yeah. giving some general updates. It's not like tragically important, but I can talk about it. Yep. So, um, let's start with the new Blue Sky accounts. There are two new Blue Sky accounts, but they're not in Buffer yet. There's a whole money transaction thing that has to happen when you're using new accounts. So we're getting that squared away, but the accounts are up and running. I put in the DNS entries, so it's the official Kubernetes IO for the end user facing stuff, and then Kubernetes.dev for contributor facing things. And uh, generally, like doing social right now is kind of hard because you can only post to one Twitter account at a time. And yeah, that creates problems like we had during KubeCon last week when I got like a frantic call for help during award ceremonies, <laughs> so, like Kathleen and Mario were like, we have the names, but we need to do the social media stuff. And yeah, yeah. like I took one look at it. I'm like, yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to be in the main conference hall and do this, right? Like without a full blown computer kind of deal. So yeah, uh, we are looking at potential alternatives, but, things are just it's a money pit at this point social media automation type stuff so i might get creative in my free time to see what i can do with just some simple zapier or something more rudimentary but uh other than that things are going okay and uh yeah despite the cncf thread about getting off of x my week has been lovely <laughs> Sorry, I'm just writing notes. Oh, you're good. Um, okay, sounds good. Is there anything else happening on the comm side? Uh, maybe anything you need help with that others can... Um, blog reviews. I know Docs. I know us. We have needed blog reviewers for a while. Um, I know... Tim Bannister has asked me and literally anyone else, uh, can they help with blog reviews? So that's more of a general ask than a comm specific one, but uh, any help is much appreciated. Where where are the logs that need reviewing? Are they on the board somewhere? They can be yeah, there are pull requests in big docs blog i think is the repo let me find it okay yeah sig docs blog <laughs> it, on, on the comms we have a, a board right that's set up in github like a yes we do have a board but keep in mind like logs have multiple entry points so 
They can come in through docs. They can come in through us. They can come in through right. CNCF or, you know, like there's, okay. okay. Um, there's many, many ways they can get here. And I do have the blog cues bookmarked. I just got to find them. All right. That's all I got though. Thanks, Chris. Um, hey, Mario, how are you? How's how's it been after you've gone? Hi. Uh, yep. Want an honest answer or? Yes. Not honest answer. Of course. I, I remember this call is recorded. I I had a car crash this morning, and I oh, no. and I went. When oh. I went to a customer and now I'm back on my way home and then I need to figure out how to deal with the car crash. So are you okay? Yeah, tired, but in general okay. Okay, well, I did not see that coming. I'm sorry. No, that was out of left field. Or like, do you need anything? Yeah, do you need help no, with anything? No, all good, all good. I mean, I, I already deal, dealt with most of it, but yeah. Okay. So basically, a okay. uh, week after coming uh, after coming home from Kupfer was uh, not so great so far. <laughs> anyway, I can't get better. Um, we need desperately to figure out how we deal with chairs for the Kubernetes track for yeah, the maintainer summit, summit. Okay. yeah for the maintainer summit because um, yeah CFP will close in about two weeks for the first cohort and then people you should also like start reviewing stuff um, we also need to figure out will do comms for this because um, we should send out comms that remind people, hey, if you need sponsorship for travel budgets, hand in your proposal until the 9th um, or 8th. And yeah, we also need to update the website for the awardees for 2024. I have this on my to-do list for tomorrow. Oh, if you need help, let me know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's, I think that's it. I don't know. I don't remember anything else. All right. Okay. Good. Thanks, Mario. Hope you're doing okay. Um. So I don't. There was a there was a brief and minor discussion on the GitHub admin side, um, regarding when we create repos, who sort of owns them, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, so so basically a working group cannot really own a repo technically, like because working groups don't own code. Uh, a SIG has to own a repo. Um, so when so the way usually it works is in case you don't have the context is if someone wants to create a repository under any of the Kubernetes orgs, uh, you go ahead and open a, a, an issue under Kubernetes slash org. And then as part of the issue template, you mentioned who the sponsoring SIGs are or who's going to own the repo. Uh, so there was a brief discussion about that in order to like make it super clear as to who's going to be the SIG that's owning the repo. Uh, because there was one instance where uh, a WG ended up sort of, uh, or most people thought a WG owned the repo, but that's not really the case. Uh, so we, that was like a minor or a brief discussion that was going on in the GitHub admin side. And I think Christoph opened up a PR to clarify the wording over there so that doesn't happen. Or at least the confusion doesn't happen. Uh, this also was fine. There was nothing needed. It's just that there was some small bit of confusion as to who was owning what. Um, but I think other than that, on the GitHub admin side, we are good. Um, uh, um, was anything? this regarding the, the, the blue sky thingy thing, the blue sky list, or was this something else? 
Uh, this was another repository. This was uh, LLM instance gateway. So I can, I can link the discussion thread as well. The meeting. Oh, the API gateway thing. Uh, yes. But, but yeah. I, when when a working group is started, um, does not the working group need to be sponsored by at least one or two six? Oh yes, yes. Uh, the working group does need to be sponsored by at least one or two six. Yeah. Uh, this was the case where. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, no. So I was just saying that the 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 confusion here essentially was which sake is owning the owning the repository, um, because it turned out that uh, it 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 turned out that the general consensus was either that really serving, which is the working group which is sort of working on this thing, owned the repo, or Sig Network owned the repo. But in actuality, when the repo was created, uh, we marked it under Sig Apps because we use six dot yaml in kubernetes slash community as a source of truth for everything um so we marked llm instance gateway under sig apps when the repo was created um so yeah. just to avoid that avoid any sort of confusion in the future we needed to sort of make the wording clear uh in the in the issue template yeah okay but yeah okay that's 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 fine and i mean we we i i think we can move over a force right so we can potentially just move the repo in the ownership to SIG network thing. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's up to like network apps and steering to the side now. It's up to them. If they want to transfer the ownership to another SIG, depending on relevance. So that's, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Well. Yeah. Yep. Great. Uh, I will look it up afterwards because I'm nice. in the car. Yeah. Be about it. Um. Okay. Do we have any updates uh, for contributed documentation? I know we did a shout out in our uh, maintainer track for help with the site migration. That is Hugo and Bash. Um. But uh, hopefully something comes out of it. But that's yeah, they, one thing that we did. I thought somebody was working. Yeah, I mean, on that. There, there's one giant PR with one thousand changed lines, which is mostly auto-generated code. But um, we 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 should review this rather sooner than later because this will basically at least fix our um, dependency hell that we are currently in. And like the, the, the thing that uh, we, are, we are not up to date. So we should start looking at this PR. Um, to be honest, I don't know who and where and when. I mean, I can start having a look. I can also pull in someone that from, from that I know that works with, uh, works with Hugo um but we should definitely review this otherwise we would run into the same issue that we had before where we had the prs too long idling and things changing again sounds good that makes sense yeah uh okay the the pr that you mentioned that's under um uh, where is it right now uh, it should be under the, the community side, so uh, where basically kds.dev is. Um, it's it's linked somewhere in Slack. Um, when I when I'm home, I will basically pull it up and put it into the meeting do uh, meeting notes. Sounds good. Thanks, Mario. Okay, uh, let's see. Do we have any updates? Uh, sorry. I need to drop, so uh, yeah, oh, no I'll speak worries. to you all again soon. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Bye. No Bye. Do we have any updates for moderation, uh, media automation? Um, we, uh, we probably will eventually get the recordings for our contributor summit. Um, and then we, someone needs to put them up on YouTube. Okay. 
I can do I that. I, yeah, I don't know when we get them. Usually it's like a couple of days after KubeCon, I will ping Brienne. Yeah, just they let me don't know. Go I can put them up. Yeah. Yeah. Because they usually don't go up at the CNCF uh, YouTube, they will go up at the Kubernetes YouTube, as far as I know. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, anything in elections that anyone wants to talk about? Um, there was the call for help. Uh, uh, a call for help, pictures, but out of this yet. Okay. Yeah, we did do a call for help um, in the maintenance track as well for, for Electo and other elections related work. Um, anything, uh, just, okay, any open discussions, uh, topics you want to bring up, comments that you have, things that we need to do? I mean, the only the only thing that I would would like opinions on is um, as we are so short of time, I will would basically go ahead and go into the ContribX channel and into the Summit channel and ask for an interims lead for the maintainer summit i mean from the from the Kubernetes side um we have not defined yet what needs to be done but it will be at least comms uh website and yeah not yeah steer it not yeah um chair committee uh chair committee um and then i would basically go ahead and ping every past shadow or lead for content if they would like to participate in the um, as a, as a track chair for the for for London. Is this okay, or is there any objection to this? No, I think let's do it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, go for it. Anything else? We have a new person as well on the call. Welcome. Hey. Welcome, indeed. Hi, everyone. Hi. Is this your first time at the, in the Contribex call? Yes, yes. I did see the message in the SIG country uh, channel, and I was curious to uh, understand what you guys do and how one can contribute. But I guess I'm pretty late. So I want you to repeat yourself if you have. Oh, all you're fine. Been that's through okay. it. Well, well, yeah, that's okay. Uh, welcome to the community. Um, yeah. We should probably do some intros, right? Uh, and yeah. I should have done this like at the start of the meeting, but but you know, might as well do it now. I'll start. Hi, I'm Madhav. I'm one of the tech leads for Contributed Experience, um, and I also do some work on this thing called GitHub administration, uh, which is managing all of our GitHub orgs and the repositories in that. Um, Chris, do you want to go next? Sure. I'm Chris Short, a uh, long time Kubernetes contributor, longer time technologist. Uh, I'm a co chair of the contributor comms sub project under SIG ContribX, and uh, we're very happy to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I don't know about the other two yeah, guys. Are you guys contributors as well? Danush and yeah. Maya. Yeah, hi. Uh, I am basically also part of ContribX and uh, also part of ContribX comms. Um, they are in comms. I do mostly the technical stuff and uh, policy stuff. And I'm also doing uh, the billing report for the Kubernetes project uh, infrastructure. 
Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Right. Yeah, uh, to answer your question or to basically, basically give a give a give a short rundown of what Contour X does. So Contour X is basically, I would say, the most central SIG um, across the six because it's yeah, as it, as it, as its name tells, uh, contributor experience. So uh, as Madaf said, we take care of the different GitHub orgs. Um, we do GitHub management. Uh, we also do like uh, anything that is related to uh, communication. So for this is for example, the comms project. So the Kubernetes block falls under this, the Kubernetes.dev uh, block falls under this. Um, also all of the social media channels like X, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, um, Blue Sky, uh, and stuff like this. So we do the general communication, the critical communication, uh, event communication there. Um, and in Contrabex, we also have the mentoring sub-project, which is aimed towards uh, organi uh, organizing in respect to what's the different uh, mentorships like LFX or Google Summer of Code uh, and uh, what's going on there. Um, basically, we are also the maintainers of the Kubernetes.dev website, um, where it's the, the, the entry point for a lot of uh, folks. We also run the new contributor orientation meeting. Um, and we have been in the past the organizing body for the maintainer, uh, for the contributor summit. Um, for London, this is basically changing into the maintainer summit. Um, so we will still have a team running this, but um, not so much. We don't have, have to do as much work as we did before. However, um, we also do elections. So like uh, steering elections, for example, and is it code of conduct that is coming up next? Something, some, some, some elections coming up next. I don't know which one. I, I, it might also be the uh, the governing uh, the 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 the, per, the vote for the person for the governing board, but I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah. So that's context. It's every, everywhere and nowhere. Thank you. This was a great <laughs> uh, explanation. One question I have is: How is it different from the comms team in the release team? Because I know they do a lot of um communication uh, stuff they do a lot of i guess blog posts and things like that as well and uh, are on they're active on social media as well is it different is it part of uh this group or how is it different so the comms team for a release is a fleeting thing like um, yeah. it is defined it is defined for for a specific release um it Usually also comms does a little a lot of internal comms and uh, the comms, team, uh, comms release team is basically reliant on the comms team or on SIG Contribex comms. So um, it, it's the same goes for the contributor summit team, for example. They also have a comms team, which is specific for the contributor summit, but um, basically it boils down to the comms team that is below this. So like SIG Contrax comps as a as a subproject. Uh, Chris, it. you wanted to say something. Sorry. Yep. Thanks, Mario. Uh, so before before we move on, I I do want to let Tanush introduce him, uh, introduce himself. So Tanush, why don't you go ahead? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm Tanush. I'm I'm currently working as data engineering at Optum. Um, yeah, it's been nice. Like. I have and contributed here to Kubernetes community, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to contribute. Thanks. Yeah, sounds good. We we, we hope you do. We, we are looking forward to seeing you more in the community. Yeah. Great to have yeah. you there. Um, awesome. Nice. I guess I'll go. Uh, my name is Seppi there. Uh, I usually go with Seppi because I know it's easier for lots of people <laughs> to call me Seppi. Uh, I'm a site reliability engineer at Adobe. Um, I have participated in um, release team as a shadow 
for 131, I was in the release notes team. And for this cycle, I am part of the enhancements team. Um, and again, I just, I'm looking for learning more about the whole community and uh, hoping to contribute wherever I can. Uh, ideally, I would, I would love to get more hands-on and get into the actual like, coding part. That's the area that really interests me. Uh, but I guess I'm a little bit, I'm not confident to just jump into it and start like working on it. So again, I'm trying to get exposure to as much as I can. And uh, when the right opportunity comes and when I know more people and get more confident to actually do uh, code level contributions. Uh, I'm very happy to be here and I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Welcome. Yeah. Thank Great. You. Um, to add to, to add to this, maybe, um, which time zone are you located? Uh, I'm based in Ottawa, Canada, so Eastern time zone. Nice. Okay, then then you mi you you sadly missed our meeting, which is the new contributor orientation meeting, uh, which is relevant for your time zone. But Aww. um, there is a re there is a recording uh, on on this, and we are we are nice. especially taking tackling like things that um how to get into code contribution because um, the best way, honestly, in, uh, in the different parts of the Kubernetes project, especially if you want to go into code contributions is um, don't go and look for an issue and try to solve the issue. Um, because there we, we usually a lot of folks fall into a uh, good first issue trap um, as Sadly, we don't have so many good first issues. Um, the best way is to, if you want to long-term get into code contributions, is basically to figure out what is the SIG that interests you the most from a, from a technical point of view or the, where the, the part that you want to get involved most and um, join their meetings. Uh, when you go to kds.dev slash calendar, um, you basically have a calendar where you can see all of the SIG meetings. And those SIG meetings are basically where the, most of the work is being done. As, as you know, when you were uh, a shadow for uh, in the release process, you know that there are those meetings and their tasks are being given and uh, stuff is being discussed, basically. And that's the, that's the truth, basically, for most of the SIGs. So if you want to really get into this and try to figure out what is actually needed or where 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 things are needed, the best way is to join those meetings, as you already did by joining this meeting. So if you want to do code contributions, we actually need help with Hugo and Doxy, but I don't know if you are able to work in Hugo or Doxy, or if you can if you work on uh, if you're able to work on Python. Uh, we need help with our election software, which is called Electo. First of all, thank you very much for all this. Great advice. And yes, I had seen um, first issues, <laughs> issues to work on, but I was like, okay, this seems to be like more difficult than I thought it would be and not something that would necessarily interest me depending on the issue. I will definitely join those uh, meetings. Um, I, I think I'm specifically thinking about Signode and Network. But I guess I, I will know better when I join their meetings. Um, and I will watch the contributor orientation. I would definitely love to contribute here with, with you guys as well. Um, so I guess to get more information about uh, what you just mentioned around the uh, election software. I Sorry, I didn't catch the name. Um, will there be any information in that contributor orientation video? Or I should just check the... GitHub repositories so, and find where it is and look for. Basically, for, for uh, especially for Elector, it's basically mm -hmm. uh, Josh Josh Belkos, uh, who is responsible for it. Is so the easiest way is um, either ping me in the ContribX channel or mm -hmm. write me a, a DM in Slack. Um, I am in the Kubernetes Slack. I guess I am at M Farland, but you usually. You can find me when you search for Mario because there are not so many Marios in the Kubernetes org. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and, and just write, uh, just write me a DM, uh, and then I can basically connect you to the folks and uh, point you 
who would be the, the best person to talk to. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, this is you, right? Mario Fal... Sorry, I can't pronounce the family name. No, all, all good. Uh, I can't see the screen because I'm currently driving. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. That, that's Mario. That's Mario. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Yep. Yeah, and if you're interested in like Electro, there's also, uh, we, we did do like an overview type thing. So Electro is the name of the election uh, software slash mm -hmm. project that, that mm -hmm. we run. Uh, we did do like an overview type thing um, in one of our past maintainer tracks of SIG Contributors at KubeCon. Uh, so if you look up SIG Contributor Experience maintainer track um, at like past KubeCons, you should be able to find that as well. Nice. Uh, Was it in this think, past KubeCon, like in um, Salt Lake City, or? Uh, so in Salt Lake City, we didn't we didn't do an overview of Electro specifically. Okay. Uh, we, but I think in if you look at the one that is in Detroit and Amsterdam, you okay. should be able to find some more information. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, and also, of course, uh, I think the the repo is pretty well structured. So I think you'll have a easier time even looking at the repo as well if that's something you're doing. Thank you. Um, one more thing, the meetings, and I should go and check the calendar, but since you guys are here, are your meetings every Wednesday the same time, around noon Eastern time? Uh, so Eastern time friendly meetings are uh, bi-weekly. Uh, so uh -huh, okay. this week is Eastern time friendly. Next week will be uh, Europe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, uh, next week will be Asia, Asia Pacific friendly uh -huh. and then following week again. Got it. But yeah. Thanks. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, I hope I hope uh, you sort of find something super interesting and stick around. So it's pretty cool. Network and node is always super interesting. So yeah. Oh yeah. Like, so I think the biggest thing we talked about yesterday and the new contributor orientation during the Q and A was just showing up to meetings, inserted, and some groups are easier than others, but um, contributor experience very like easy ramp on to the Kubernetes project, I think, in my opinion. So feel free to help us where you can. Awesome. Thank you, guys. No problem. OK. Any, any last minute questions, comments, concerns, anything at all? I'm close to be home, so I will probably drop out because there's no cell phone reception. I hope you're doing okay, Mario. I hope you're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> take it easy, man. Let us know if you need anything or need yeah. to take something off your plate so you can deal yep. with our problem. Yep. Okay. No, awesome. all good. Have a great day and see you on Friday, probably. Yes. Please. You'll see me at least. <laughs> yep. Okay. It was nice meeting you all. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you. Bye.